हेलो एवरी वन आई एम चैतन्य गोखले आई एम अ प्रोफेशनल कैलीग्राफर एंड डिजाइन कंसल्टेंट आई हैव बीन वर्किंग इन द फील्ड ऑफ आर्ट डिजाइन एंड एजुकेशन फॉर लास्ट फोर्टीन ईयर्स आई हैव बीन प्रैक्टिसिंग कैलीग्राफी फॉर लास्ट ट्वेंटी वन ईयर्स स्पेशलाइजिंग इन देवनागरी कैलीग्राफी आई हैव अ यूट्यूब चैनल विथ नाइन्टी टू थाउजेंड प्लस सब्सक्राइबर्स वेर आई कीप ऑन शेयरिंग ट्यूटोरियल्स ऑन डिफरेंट कैलीग्राफी स्क्रिप्ट सो इन टूडेज वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू अनबॉक्स एंड रिव्यू द इंक्स फ्रॉम रोरर एंड क्लिंगनर These inks are German made and specifically designed for calligraphy and drawing. These German made inks are well known for their distinct colors and smooth flow, making them a great choice among calligraphers. These specialty inks are launched in India for the first time by Ayush Papers. Don't forget to check their website ayushpaper.com. We have a selection of colors here including Astoria brown, emerald green, Percy Shrot and Ginster. The bottle says pigment inks for calligraphy and drawing. These inks are waterproof and come in 100 ml classic glass bottles. Look at the label. It looks kind of vintage, timeless. In calligraphy, along with your tools, your paper and your inks contribute directly to the final outcome. When you are choosing a paper for calligraphy, there are few things to consider. First, You want a paper that's smooth and has a consistent surface. This will allow the nib or the tool to glide smoothly across the paper, creating even strokes. A wrong selection of paper can ruin a good calligraphy due to feathering or ghosting. I always recommend a 100 GSM and above paper for doing calligraphy or for a practice. For testing these inks, I'll be using this fountain pen friendly 100 GSM paper. from ayush papers this high quality ink friendly paper is a great choice it's designed to handle the flow of the ink and prevent bleeding and allowing you to create beautiful precise calligraphy artworks this comes in a wire bound soft pad in a4 size you can choose between dotted ruled or plain now coming back to the inks there are 10 colors available in rorer and klingner inks If you are not sure about the color or how it responds to your paper or the dip pen, you can always prefer doing a trial before purchasing the full size bottle. Small 10 ml bottles are available and you can order it from Ayush Papers. I think it's convenient since you can get to see and feel the actual ink. I have ordered few samples for testing. I will share the list of materials used and the Ayush Paper website link in the video description below. Let me create small swatches first to see how it works on paper. I prefer using a brush so we can see the spread and the tones. Each ink color is different. You can try out by adding some water also to get more gradients. You can choose the color as per the requirement of your project or the artwork. But looking at the intensity of the inks, I am very much satisfied. You can try out these inks and let us know in the comments below which is your favorite ink. The colors in the video look little less saturated but in real most of the colors are pretty vibrant and saturated. The paper is also holding the ink quite well. though there is some bleeding on the back side each color is different these are not like your normal primary ink colors the ink is not very watery it has got a nice body and it sits well on the paper looking at the texture of the ink i think using it with dip pens would be recommended 
as it may clog your fountain pen. I can see small pigment particles here. The viscosity of the ink is good and I am impressed with the color gradients. Now let me try how it writes using different tools. I will start with a dip pen. The letters look crisp and ink is spreading nicely inside the strokes. We will see how it looks after it dries completely. Paper has a smooth surface that allows the ink to flow and spread evenly. There is sufficient resistance from the surface. Looking at the pigment in the inks, these are compatible with dip pens only and cannot be used in fountain pens. Okay. The shade is almost the same. I can see some sheen on the edges. Now let me see how it writes with a brush. The result using the brush also looks satisfactory. The ink offers a good control in letters and the drying time is moderate, not very quick. The brush is not dragging a lot. Looking at the results, I think you can try using these inks in drawing and illustrations as well. Overall I can say, Rohrer and Klingner inks have a variety of colors from subtle to vibrant hues, allowing you to create interesting calligraphy artworks from your favorite script or style. I hope you found this video helpful. Do order these inks from Ayush Papers and try using in your calligraphy artworks. We would like to see your artworks using Rohrer and Klingner inks. Don't forget to tag us at Ayush Paper. If you have any queries or comments or questions, you can send a DM, post in the comment section below. You can follow me at chaitanya.gokhale and on YouTube Chaitanya Gokhale Calligraphy. Thank you for watching. That's for today. We'll see you next time. Thank you.